As well as deciding to lose weight, more importantly, I decided I was going to turn my life around. So that night I was going to do my first weight reveal and then I was going to talk to the camera and share all of my problems. And that I was meant to do for the rest of the year. But instead I just got pissed on rum. I might be drunk. I might be fat. Make on my pride. And then I just never did any of it. Well, I lost weight, but other than that. Aside from all the excuses as to why I haven't talked to the camera for the past year, like I said I was going to, I guess I wasn't truly prepared to actually acknowledge the mountain of issues I have to climb. I also wasn't keen on hearing the sound of my own miserable voice. But uh, luckily, a year on, I have really grown. I love the idea of talking, sharing, and I simply cannot wait to go on this journey of self-acceptance or self-discovery or some absolute load of other bollocks like that. New flat, new life. I didn't want to say that. I forced myself. So number three. Significant. The amount of cups I've got on the side. See? Three. The amount of people I've slept with in my life. It's the kitchen. The bedroom. Here's where the magic happens. Nah. Here's where the magic happens. Shits. No one cares about the spare room. And finally, the living room. It is very small like the rest of the place, but you know, it's a flat in a town compared to an enormous place in the countryside, which I was unnecessarily paying for because What's the point in living in a beautiful house in a desirable location when, you know, there's no one around? And yeah, the point is to not be lonely. So this flat is what it is. Um, and now I've got all my mates around me, guys. Guys. I'm just out, out and about on a bench, in public outside. So in a bid to turn this around, I bought a book called The Ten Keys to Happier Living, which hasn't made me happy because the whole thing costs 1877, 12.77 for the book, five pounds postage and packaging which is ridiculous because the Kindle version cost 99p. So for 1877, I could have just bought a Kindle for that. Second hand, maybe. Which maybe I would have if I didn't hate reading, but I hate reading. It's so shit, so there wouldn't have been any point. But that's why it's done anything but make me happy so far. That and the fact that it's called The Ten Keys to Happier Living. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. It might be alright. I ain't even taken it out of packaging. Are you okay if I sit here? You can see that you're recording. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, it's not my bench. <laughs> go and read my book somewhere where people aren't. I don't know where I'm going. I to go to the middle of nowhere to read a book you don't want in peace. 1877 book. I've got a fucking bull chasing me here. It's got bloody horns. My book! My book! Christ! Christ! Oh! It's 1877. Got up the shitter. What's that then? 37.54 later. The grand unveiling of a book I never even wanted in the first place. Oh my god. 
It was six pounds postage, not five. You can't possibly understand why it takes six pounds to send a slim book. Different maybe of the 10 keys to happiness was a giant ornament than I would have been more than, more than prepared for that, but I don't have a giant ornament, I have a book. That won't make my living room look nicer. My tiny living room. Dickhead. Oh, ink stain. Oh, it's not as small as I thought, actually. Right. Contents. The 10 keys to happier living. Key number one, 